Jeffrey Epstein's black book finally being revealed? Well, a New York judge has ordered a mass unsealing of court documents relating to disgraced sex offender and financier Jeffrey Epstein that will likely make public the names of vast swaths of Epstein's associates, according to ABC News. Now, the documents set to be released are part of a settled civil lawsuit alleging Epstein's one-time paramour, Ghislaine Maxwell, facilitated the sexual abuse of Virginia Giuffre. Per reports, anyone who did not successfully fight to keep their name out of the civil case could see their name become public, including more than 150 people, which include Epstein's victims, co-conspirators, and other associates. Judge Loretta Presca set the release for January 1st, giving anyone who objects to their documents becoming public some time to object. On a related note, a motion in Congress to reveal the contents of Epstein's flight logs has seemingly stalled, a situation Congressman Tim Burchett says is due to representatives being blackmailed. Here he is on Newsmax. And too many of my colleagues, I'm afraid, are compromised uh, in this area for whatever reason. Somebody just whispered in their ear, said, hey, you don't want something to come out on something else. You better keep your mouth shut on this. And that's exactly what they've done. And, um, and it continues to go, whether it's the honeypot that the Russians used to use or something worse. I don't know. But, but it's clearly you see that up and down the line. You see good conservatives vote for liberal policies. And I mean, as with everything else, those are some tall accusations. Which of your colleagues have been, have been uh, told not to speak up on Jeffrey Epstein-related matters because someone's whispering in, their, who's you, whispering in their ear? When you say, Talk. along with everything else, are you alluding to uh, the UFO stories? Yes. At, at which he's also a center? Yes. I mean, I like Tim Burchett, and I'm glad he is <laughs> fighting for accountability on these issues. Um, but, it's just sometimes we use the royal insinuation, day. But insinuation, insinuation, insinuation doesn't get you very far. So, like, in, so in this case, so... This is good that it's it's happening. People have a lot of questions about the Epstein um, files and why uh, we don't know more about who was involved. Um, they will be redacting, keeping out some of the names for good reason. So victims of Jeffrey Epstein who have not publicly come forward or who were underage, I think there is healthy reason not to um, publicize their names, particularly if they object to it. Um, possibly even if they don't say anything at all, um, and they were underage at the time, they're victims of sex crimes. It's, it's general practice not to release information on those people. The media doesn't provide names of those people, even if it, even if it is known, even if you have a police report that names the person, you're not in, in the media, you don't, if they're under 18 or 16, you know, it, it, that's just, that's not illegal, that's just common journalistic standard practice. So I can see the argument for it. Um, I, th I think what we're going to get is the names of you know, people, we're going to get names of people who provided testimony or who were involved in the proceedings, who are maybe witnesses or associates, which doesn't necessarily mean that they had anything to do with underlying criminal behavior or wrongdoing. Um, I, you know, what a lot of people uh, who, who have, who are passionate about the Jeffrey Epstein story and, and I mean, understand, correctly outraged about the the wild, far-reaching abuse of underage women for decades that went on under his uh, abusive behavior and his ability to remain in polite society for a long time, to hobnob with wealthy political people on both sides of the political spectrum, with um, with moneyed elites. Um, it, the, the implication of the suggestion is always that there's that black book. There are other rich and powerful famous people who, who took advantages of the services that Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein were providing. Obviously, there was the accusation against um, a member of the royal family, Prince Andrew. Um, the, the insinuation is that there's more. There are more people like that who have not yet been named, and are we going to find out information on them? And then the implication of that is always, well, if the government has, these, has this document, knows who else was involved, why weren't more charges brought against more people? So there's a, there's a, and then, and that's when the, like, well, is it because that would be too politically inconvenient to prosecute these people? Or they have dirt on the prosecutors that we would indict, it would, you know, bring down the whole global system to have this many people facing charges for sex crimes. That's where people's head goes when they're denied that information. Yeah. So according to CNN, the order says Epstein's associates, one of whom played a role in a sex trafficking crimes and another whose name came up in a criminal trial will also have their documents unsealed in full. So there will at least be some people who aren't just accused of having associations with Epstein, but were specifically alleged to have been in a conspiracy uh, along with Epstein.
to commit these kinds of sex crimes. But I do think that you're right when there's an allusion to the black book and the black book being unsealed, the implication is that we're going to get a list of people who also exploited young girls, not just people, I don't mean to minimize it, but not just people who had social associations with Jeffrey Epstein. So, um, you know, New York Magazine put out an article in anticipation of this news coming out, making a list of people who were revealed as Epstein associates during the last trove of, of, of the last unsealing um, moment. And, you know, there are people who have had social relationships with him. We've been talking about RFK Jr., who was recently questioned about flying on Epstein's plane, um, which he acknowledged and admitted to having done it on a couple of occasions. There's people like Vera Wang and Naomi Campbell, who are believed to have been used by Jeffrey Epstein as inducements to get young girls who are interested in entering modeling or the fashion industry to come in closer association with him, dangling his high-profile celebrity friends. Um, there's people like the former um, prime minister of Israel. There's people like Bill Gates, who obviously has been a big part of this conversation. William Burns, CIA director. Um, Noam Chomsky, who was also in the news uh, this year. Uh, about his associations with Epstein and his kind of odd reaction to that information becoming public, and on and on and on. So this feels like it could be momentous, depending on who is, in fact, named. But also, I think the more important aspect of it is what is actually being alleged about the nature of their relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Were they social friends, which might bring a certain level of condemnation and judgment, or were they people who are alleged to have been a part of the conspiracy or to have also exploited young women? And also, at what point were they social friends? That's, a, that's what matters substantially for me, because this was a you know, wealthy, well-connected person who was going to a lot of social events. Like, you, you know, if you met him at a party in the 90s, that is, frankly, very different than after he was prosecuted for sex crimes against children, convicted, put under house arrest, and then later, your, your, your you know, you, there's emails, or your, your yeah. secretary has emails with him where you're so happy to be able to see him at his island next summer, like in you know in, in the in the in the late aughts or the 20 teens. That is that is disgusting. well, right. Well, so all of these people that I just named, that's from the trove of documents that was taken from thousands of emails and private schedules dating from 2013 to 2017. Yeah, so off, after incredible. the initial conviction. So for example, um, Naomi Campbell gave a statement saying that she deeply regrets having had any contact with Epstein after his conviction. This, these are people who you can make the strong case that they should have known better. Um, so we'll see if there's anything substantial that comes out of this, but it does seem that at least one person who... Mm. Um, was implicated criminally in these cases is going to be revealed. I also wonder if we'll learn anything more about the Virgin Islands situation. Um, we, we followed how uh, Delegate Stacey Plaskett has a history of, of associations, inviting him specifically, or her team inviting him specifically to a fundraiser, uh, him lobbying the government of the Virgin Islands to change its like sex offender <laughs> registry policies solely for his own benefit, um, him really being able to use that jurisdiction as his personal um, fiefdom in a, in a nakedly, wildly corrupt way. So I wonder if we'll get any more information on people associated with the Virgin Islands. Yeah. All right, stick around. We'll have a rising for you right after this.